All right, Rangers, we're going to do a quick and dirty map and compass survey uh, lesson training. This is one of the lessons we do at Classroom at Crater Lake, and it does take a little bit of skill in order to instruct it correctly. Uh, the materials you're going to need are a, a topographic map of the park, uh, a compass with, uh, with declination that can be set with a key um, and, then, and then kept there, um, and then also you will need a straight edge, and if you're doing so, any kind of ruler, um, and if you're going to be doing this outside, you're going to need sandbags or rocks to hold uh, the map down if it's windy, because you're, uh, you're going to likely be working down on the ground with the map. Now, uh, the compass, a few basic parts of this compass. There's the, the base plate of the compass, uh, which is clear, so you can lay it down over the map. Uh, the direction of travel arrow, which is important, that's always going to be pointing towards what you're trying to find. Um, and then there's the bezel that spins uh, here on the compass. And um, inside the bezel, we have uh, our north-south lines, which are the black ones. And you can see that they are parallel with the imaginary line that connects north and south on the bezel. So they're parallel with the bezel. And then we have the, the red shed. And, uh, and the red shed is actually not parallel with the north-south because it's declinated according to the, uh, to the magnetic declination that's currently um, here in this part of Oregon, which is about 14 and a half degrees east. Uh, so you don't need to worry about the declination, uh, but you do want to make sure that you're aware of these north-south lines inside the compass bezel. And then the last piece, of course, is the needle. Uh, the red end of the needle we, we like to call Fred, uh, and as long as the compass is being held level, Fred will freely uh, swivel on that bearing and will point towards magnetic north. Now, um, those are the pieces of the compass. You don't need to know a whole lot more about it, uh, but it is a cool tool that's going to do a lot for you. Now, on the map... We have major place names um, on, on uh, landforms, and then we also have uh, uh, east-west lines and north-south lines. Um, that creates a grid uh, that helps in navigation, but for this lesson, we're just going to be using the north-south blue lines on the map. We don't need to worry about the east-south, or excuse me, east-west lines or the uh, topographic contour lines. Now, uh, first things first is we wanted to orient our, our, our map to north. Uh, so what we need to do is take our compass bezel and we need to set north to this line which says read bearing here and that line is connected to your direction of the travel arrow. So remember you point uh, that the arrow is going to be going towards what you want or pointing at what you're looking to find. So you, right now we want to set the, the map up to go north. So we set north to the, to the arrow uh, to the main direction of the compass. And now these north south lines on the inside of the bezel we're going to lay them down directly over the north south lines on the map. I'm going to zoom in on that and hopefully you can see it. So you can see here, and I'll get it maybe off that blue a little bit, if you can look through the compass and you can see the north-south line and you just get it so it's perfectly parallel. Now you're going to spin the compass and the map. You're going to hold them together until Frid goes into the red shed. So I'm going to try to hold it as still as possible. I'm spinning it all together until, you know, I'm going to look from the top. Fred is now in the red shed, and I'll zoom out for you guys. Now the map is oriented towards north. Now I'm down in Rim Village. Uh, I can't actually see the lake, or excuse me, I'm down in Steel. I can't see the lake from, from where I am right now, but we're going to imagine for step two, which is identifying landforms using the compass, that we are actually up at the Crater Lake Lodge. So um, for step two, it doesn't actually matter if the, if the map is oriented towards north uh, or not. Um, so in this case, we're just going to put it back so the camera can see it fine. And now, um, remember, we're going to be at the Crater Lake Lodge, which is labeled here with that little person sleeping in a bed. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look for a place called Palisade Point. Now, Palisade Point, uh, during the lesson, you'll have uh, cards that you can pass out to the kids that will actually have uh, the landforms they're looking for, as, as well as some facts about them so they can kind of uh, interpret them later if there's time. Uh, but right now, we can find Palisade Point right here on the north side of the lake. And remember, Crater Lake Lodge is on the uh, south side of the lake. This is where our straight edge comes in. Um, the kind of fancy uh, compasses you may have seen before, they open up, and there's a mirror inside. And when they open up, they create a long straight edge so you don't have to carry an extra ruler. Uh, for, for all intents and purposes right now, we just use a ruler to connect where we are to where we want to find. So I'm going to connect the dots, Crater Lake Lodge, to Palisade Point. And I got to hold the ruler there. That ruler is showing us the angle from north that you would have to turn your body. If you were facing due north, you'd have to turn this many degrees to look at Palisade Point. And so we can record those degrees using this compass. Now, what we do is we lay the compass down on the map 
and we put the edge of the compass against the straight edge. And now we need to, holding it all steady, we need to just rotate the bezel until those north-south lines on the compass are parallel with the north-south lines on the map. So I'm going to do that. It's a little hard to see with that blue, so I'm going to go ahead and just slide the compass down a little bit, trying to keep it in the uh, camera there. And now I got my lines almost perfect. Remember, the more careful you are, the more precise your final or more accurate your final reading will be. Okay, so now we have the, the dots connected, Palisade Point to Crater Lake Lodge, and when we lay the compass down on that line, uh, the, these north-south lines are parallel with, well, with the north-south lines on the map. Now, here's a couple places you can mess it up. It doesn't matter if it's on this side of the ruler or this side of the ruler. It doesn't matter as long as it's on this line. But the two important things are you want the direction of travel arrow on the compass pointing towards the way you're looking. And then when you turn the, the, uh, the bezel so that the north-south lines become parallel, you want to make sure the north end of the bezel is facing the north end of the map. Because they're all, they would also be parallel if you did it the other way like this. But because the north end of the bezel is towards the south end of the map, your final reading is going to be 180 degrees backwards. So uh, there's two ways you can remember it. One way is just turn the compass counterclockwise um, and you'll get to that right, uh, that, that, that parallel um, angle right when uh, north is at the top. But when you're teaching the kids, you might just want to tell them, make sure your north-south lines, you know, there is a north end and a south end. Make sure they're not just parallel with the north-south lines on the map, but the north end is going north and the south end is going south. So after you have that done, now you can just relax. You can take your hands off the, the map and you can just let go of the compass. And the compass has actually recorded the information for you because as soon as you made these north-south lines parallel with the north-south lines on the map, it actually, where it says read bearing here, it marked it down, it looks to me like 38 degrees or almost northeast. Now, if we were standing at the lodge and we held the compass level and we rotated the compass, you know, and if it was, you know, plugged into our belly button, then we'd be rotating our whole body. If you rotate the compass until Fred is in the red shed, then the direction of travel arrow should now be pointing directly at Palisades Point. So you stand behind it, you look at the arrow, and you should see the point. Um, and so that's basically how it works. You're just using the straight edge and the north and south lines on the map so that you can get the correct angle. And you don't even have to memorize it because the, or remember it because the, uh, the compass actually records it for you. You stand up, you put Fred in the red shed, and then your arrow should be pointing directly at uh, Palisade Point or whatever other area you're trying to find. So there's only a few different steps. There are a couple places you could get mixed up. Uh, the, the main thing that, that you might do or you might see kids do is when they align the north-south lines on the compass of the map, they might do it upside down, which will then give you a 180 degree uh, wrong answer, which when you're looking at the lake, you know that means you're going to turn your back to the lake and it's kind of obvious what happened. Um, so anyways, uh, hopefully this helps a little bit if you want to go back and review it and you can always ask me questions. Have a great season, guys.